while researching different family or while researching your family tree, they've found out that one person is from this is let's say McPherson. One person's Mackenzie. Which tartan <coughs> should they be wearing, or does it matter at all? And if someone's looking for a particular tartan or trying to figure out where their family even even has one, where would they start searching for that? Mm-hmm. Okay, that was several questions all at once. Classic, classic thing, though. Yes, um, the first place to search. There's this website I've heard of. Huh. Beautiful website, very very well designed. Great prices on stuff. Um, USA. USAKilts.com, I believe. Yes, that's oh, it. those guys? Those guys. Yeah, they're, they're very nice guys. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, go to our website, search on the surname that you're looking for or last name for us Americans. Um, and if there are any clans that are associated with that name, the, the tartan will pop up. Right. Um, or districts or Irish counties. Yes, what he said. Um, <clears throat> what do you wear if you have multiple? Great question. Glad you asked. The, <laughs> Sorry. Again, long day. The <clears throat> there's if you have McPherson, McDonald, Stewart, and a few different ones. Historically speaking, traditionally speaking, as it were, you would go through your paternal line. So whatever your father's name was, or his father's name was, or his father's name was, that's generally how it would come down. That being said, let's say you're adopted and you don't know, or let's say you're you know, your parents got divorced and your dad was a jerk and ran off with somebody else, or your dad was never in the picture, then go through your mother's line. It's it's all personal to you. This is all about you. That's the point. It's what you feel comfortable with, what you want to wear to represent your heritage. So if you have multiple families in your background, traditionally through the male line, but if you're you know, you really, really love your mom and, or she was the Scot in the family and your dad was German, then wear hers. Or if they're both Scottish, there's nothing wrong with wearing both. In Scotland, generally... Not at the same time. Yes, please, God, not at the same time. Not at the same time. In Scotland, generally, the answer is you pick one, that's your tartan, that's what you wear, done. The In America, we love to have multiple options, so... I would say if you like both, great, wear both. If you like one but hate the other one, even though it's your father's line, great, then wear your mom's tartan. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's what you want to wear to represent your heritage. That's the point. Yeah. And you can actually have some fun with that. Sometimes um, there are different tartan tones and colors that you'd like for, say, the winter. Like there's the tartan you really think looks fantastic for going to a Christmas party. And then there's a lighter tartan, like an ancient palette tartan or something that you like that feels right for being out in the sun all day. yeah. Yeah, so... Um, if you have more than one version of your clan tartan, or if you have more than one clan in your background, that can be fun to play with. Um, it's usually a good idea to have your accessories, like the kilt pin and everything, match the uh, tartan you're wearing. Um, we have lots of people who do this. That is to say, they will wear their mom's side of the family represented by the kilt pin, and their dad's side of the family represented by the tartan. Technically, from a traditional standpoint, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to mix like that. We have guys who do that all the time, so that's going to be a your mileage may vary kind of a thing. But um, you don't have to feel hidebound by any of this stuff, basically. Yeah, that's what he was just talking about is very much an American thing. We yeah. want to represent all the heritage all the time, all yeah. at once. More, more, more. <clears throat> yes, more is more. In Scotland, it's less is more. You pick one and you go with one. You wouldn't wear an Eagles jersey with a Steelers cap. It's you pick one. Which team are you representing today? And that's what you go with. So either you're on Clan Stewart or you're on Clan McDonald. You're not a McDonald kilt pin with a Stewart kilt. Mm-hmm. But the bare bones tradition is the male line. Correct. Hey, petra, petra, patrilineal. Yes, patrilineal. Okay. exactly. Daddy. Yep. Cool. 